So in the Inflation Reduction Act, there were a number of different provisions that were, that were put out to help accelerate our fight against climate change. Things like accelerating renewable development, clean buildings, clean manufacturing, and chiefly among them, accelerating the green hydrogen economy. That piece is called 45V. Really what that is is a production tax credit that's intended to provide an incentive for the cleaner the hydrogen you can produce. So for example, if I can produce hydrogen with associated emissions of 0.45 kilograms of CO2 per kilogram of hydrogen, I get the full tax credit of $3 for that kilogram. The, the more emissions, the dirtier the, the, you know, the associated process with the hydrogen, then the, less the, the, you know, the smaller the tax credit. Now, in the legislation, Congress, the really the only rules and regulations they put in place around that were that the emissions needs to be calculated using something called the GREET model. That's an emissions calculator developed by Argonne National Labs. And really what that is, is that it's just, it's simply a calculator that allows you to plug in, you know, where you're getting your power from, your system performance metrics and efficiencies and so on, and it will calculate for you what your emissions should be. That said, there's been a lot of debate recently over whether there should be additional rules and regulations and requirements that are put in place in order to receive the production tax credit. Now, just to be clear, all of these different concepts, of, concepts that have been proposed, they're not things that are in the law, they're not things that have been discussed by members of Congress, they're not things that were considered and then thrown out when the legislation was being written. These are purely concepts that are coming from a, you know, outside entities, third parties. So there's, there's several different you know, thoughts that are, that are out there. Probably the leading one among them is a concept called the three pillars, which was initially premised by and proposed by the Princeton Zero E Lab. And in that, they really said that there should be three additional regulations put in place. The first is additionality. The second is an hourly time matching. And the third is a deliverability or you know, geographic regionality type requirement. There are a lot to get into. I'm going to be talking today specifically about the additionality component. There'll be other discussions later about the other two pieces.